So I wanted to talk to you today about a, a reference guide that we have that helps tell us what quadrants certain trig functions are positive. Now, this has been taught for years and it's very helpful. You'll actually use this a good bit when you're evaluating trig functions. So if you look at this, we have the x and y axis. And if you notice, we have four quadrants. The first quadrant here is right here in the upper right and it moves uh, counterclockwise. So quadrant one, two, three, and four. Um, and then if you notice the letters A, S, T, C, this is what helps us. We use the little phrase, all students take calculus. Um, that just helps us refer to certain quadrants. Okay, so let's look at it. Uh, the A stands for all. That basically means that every trig function is positive in quadrant one. So if we move to quadrant two, we have the S for students. Um, that represents sine, and it's reciprocal. Sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other, so they both are positive in quadrant 2. So quadrant 3, we have a T. That stands for tangent. So tangent and cotangent are reciprocals. They both are positive in quadrant 3. And then finally in quadrant 4, the C uh, stands for cosine. Cosine and secant are reciprocals, so they both are positive in quadrant 4. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples that help us get used to this chart. Uh, the way this, these uh, questions have been asked, they're giving us two situations, and they want us to try to find which quadrant uh, both of these um, are true. So for number one, uh, we have the sine of theta is greater than zero. That's just another way of saying it's positive. Okay, so if we draw our xy chart, um, and we have all students take calculus. Remember, this is quadrant one. If you want to write it as Roman numerals or just regular numbers, there's two, three, and four. Oh, that was, that's not a good job. Four. <laughs> okay, those are our quadrants. So let's see, where is sine positive? So we know uh, in quadrant one, everything's positive. And then the S in quadrant two stands for sine, which tells us that sine is positive. I'm using a method where I'm just checking because each situation has two quadrants that are positive. Um, and so let's, let's figure out tangent. They're asking for tangent is less than zero. Okay, so remember this chart tells us where it's positive. So we know it's positive for tangent in quadrant one and quadrant three. So we can assume that it's negative in the other two. So quadrant two and quadrant four. So by using the checks, we want to find one that... Uh, solves both situations, so the one with both checks is our answer. So my quadrant would be quadrant two. Okay, let's look at number two. It's a similar question. So let's draw our xy chart. All students take calculus. Okay, first one. Where is secant less than zero? Where is secant negative? Okay, let's ask ourselves first, where is secant positive? So secant and cosine are inverses. So we can say that secant is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant, um, but we're asking for where is it negative, All right? So if it's positive in the first and fourth, we can assume that secant's negative in the second and third. That was secant. Now let's look at tangent. Where is tangent greater than zero, which is positive? Well, we know it's definitely positive in quadrant one and posit positive in quadrant three. So the quadrant that satisfies both situations is quadrant 3. So quadrant 3 is my answer. All right, let's look at one more. Okay, we have all students take calculus, and we have quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's first, cosine is positive. Cosine is greater than 0. All right, that's positive. So we know everything's positive in 1. It's positive in quadrant 4 because of the C. Now let's look at cosecant. Now cosecant, please don't get it mixed up. Cosecant and cosine do not go together. Cosecant and sine are reciprocals. So where is cosecant and sine positive? They're positive in quadrant one and two. But I'm asking for where is it negative? So it's the other two, three and four. Four satisfies, quadrant four I should say, satisfies both situations.